Renee Rivas is conducting research on microscopic worms called C. elegans. It looks like a little comma on a petri dish when you hold it up to the light. Um, but they actually share 50% of their genome with us. Renee's worm research could one day lead to a cure for Parkinson's disease. It's this research that has also helped Renee to earn a spot as a first team member of USA Today's All USA college team this year. Okay, Renee okay. is excited about the research opportunity she's had as an undergraduate at the University of Alabama okay. and in working in this lab with doctors Guy and Kim Caldwell. So I had an interest in science, had an interest in medicine. But didn't know what to do with it until I came here. And uh, through doctors, a guy in Kim Caldwell, they showed me that you can do that, that it's possible to do these things as an undergrad because that's something that I didn't know I could do. Not only did Renee get to do the research, but she's also being recognized for her work in one of the top science publications in the world. Renee and some of her fellow researchers in this lab have a paper in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Renee hopes her research at UA will help her with a career in translational research medicine. We don't have gene therapy now, we can't do those sorts of things. So what most efforts are focused at is finding pharmaceuticals that can modulate some gene that is useful for uh, whatever you're interested in. And so that's, that's what I really want to study and work on in the future. But not all of Renee's time is spent in the lab. She also volunteers as a tutor at Cottondale Elementary School in Tuscaloosa. Renee enjoys working with children and uses many methods to help them learn math and science. I just try to remember what helps me with those things, like things I would use now. Like even if I haven't touched anything with fractions for a while, what do I still think of when I do that? Or um, sometimes it just means explaining it multiple ways. Renee is in an elite group in the Caldwell Lab. Six out of the past seven years, USA Today has honored one of the students who works here. I'm Bill McDaniel reporting.